did you see this incredible story about him the other day? Kent Hare, because he's also the Minister of People with Disabilities, <clears throat> was meeting with people who suffered from thalidomide. Remember what that was? It was a drug that pregnant moms took and it had terrible effects on their babies. They were born without limbs or with tiny limbs. It's a tragedy in so many ways. How can you feel anything but sympathy and sorrow and love for such people? And surely Kent Hare himself would be able to commiserate, to empathize. He's a quadriplegic man himself. But here's what he actually said and did. This is according to Fiona Sampson and others in a thalidomide survivors group. They told the CBC, and I quote, in response to members of the group reading really heartfelt testimonials, Minister Hare, apropos of nothing, commented, well, you don't have it as bad today as adults as you did when you were kids, said Sampson, a human rights lawyer and chair of Thalidomide Survivors Task Group. Then he went on to say, well, you don't have it so bad. Everyone in Canada has a sob story. You don't have it so bad? Shut up with your sob stories? Now, in a very small way, there, there's something underneath all that to admire. Here's Kent Hare, who has overcome great physical difficulties himself. And he's telling others to emphasize the positive and do their best and move on. Courage, encouragement, hope. But that's actually not how he did it, did he? He didn't encourage or challenge or inspire with his words. He could have done that. He should have done that. But instead, he browbeat and insulted and demeaned. Oh, shut up, you whiners. You see, I mean, there's a fine line there. He could have said, let's all be positive. Look at me, look what I've achieved. Like, he could have been positive, but he said, oh, shut up with your sob stories. I don't think he used the word shut up, but you saw what Fiona said. But, but they're, they're not sob stories. They're, they're th thalidomide victims. It's about the worst thing to happen to someone. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.